Hi everyone, so welcome to today's video. As you can tell by the title, I am trying another new product. <laughs> I know I've been on this It Cosmetics kick for a little over a week now. I had did a, I had done a video, if I can talk right. <laughs> I did a video last week, a Get Ready With Me, and I talked about this product here. This is the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC. It's supposed to be multiple different products wrapped in one. It color corrects, it's your full coverage foundation, it is your concealer, it's your serum, and um, it's supposed to be just kind of like an all-in-one type of thing. This does have some good coverage. I have it in the shade light, and I did mention in that video last week that I felt like the light was a little dark, but when I swatched the fair, the fair was very white. So for me to make this work for like a perfect match, I would have to buy fair and light and mix the two, and you know, that you know isn't a bad thing, but the thing is it's just having to purchase two different things. So this is good. I'm still sort of figuring out if I still want to continue using this. This has an SPF 50, so I would use this in place of a normal SPF because the 50 is in there and I feel like that's pretty good coverage. So in last week's video, I think I cut out the part that I mentioned about going to Ulta looking for, um, I mentioned the magnetic lashes and I went in there and so I sort of took my time to kind of just look at pretty things and that's how I found out about the sale this if you purchase this you got a free brush so that's why I ended up getting this because I was there um, with the idea in mind to look at the powders from It Cosmetics and so the one that I was kind of curious about was the It Cosmetics Celebration Foundation Illumination if you are someone who watches QVC you may have seen this product and this brand multiple times in individual like shows that are just specifically for e-cosmetics or Friday Night Beauty or Tuesday Night Beauty. I watch all of those half the time. And so this illumination kind of caught my eye because I have always been someone to use matte products, matte powders, matte foundations, matte blushes. The only thing that I do shimmery is my highlighter. And so I wanted to try this to see if an illuminating type of powder would make my skin look a little bit more youthful instead of it being very matte and accentuating fine lines and wrinkles because if you swatch the regular one that comes in a it's a black compact and it's just a celebration foundation that stuff is very thick and when I swatched it on my hand it was very dry I made my arm like my the back of my hand look really really bad so this one has a bit of a sheen to it it didn't look shimmery and kind of too luminescent for my liking and it made my, the back of my hand look really pretty. So I thought, let's give this a go. This is a full coverage anti-aging hydrating powder. Skincare is done, brows are done, primer's done. This is my primer, the Ren Clear Skin Perfect Canvas Silicone Free Finishing Primer. I also mentioned that in my Get Ready With Me, but this is the primer that I'm using right now. I take three drops and just press it into my face. And that was about 15 to 20-ish minutes ago, so I feel like we're good. So this is what it looks like, and it has a really pretty sort of dual chrome kind of finish to it. It's a really nice compact. I have it in the shade Fair because the light was really dark. Again, probably the same as with this. So if you have this, you may be similar in corresponding shades in this product or their powders. So I have not used it. It still has its little, come on, the plastic cover on it, so trash. And... It comes with a brush at the bottom, which most powders do come with little brushes. Uh, so this is what it looks like. It says It Cosmetics on it. This is actually quite nice. This would be actually pretty good for contouring. And so you also have a mirror. And it's just nice because it's sort of travel friendly. So we're going to try this out. And I'm going to apply it in the same ways that I apply most of my powders. Just kind of lightly kind of swirling and patting it in and not trying to buff too much in. To my skin, the only It Cosmetics brush that I have is the Airbrush Blurring one, which I use with this. So, the point of this video is to see if my initial, I'm curious about this type of product is actually going to be better for me than this. I do like this. I don't feel like I get any extra oily with it. Hasn't made me break out yet, so, so far so good. So, I'm going to try this powder, and I'm going to have to decide which one works best for me. So normally, I like to use the Real Techniques brushes. This is a multitask. I don't know if you can buy this specific style of brush individually, the multitask, but I've had this for, I don't know, six, seven years, and it's one of my favorite face brushes, if not my most favorite. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start just kind of like buffing this in just lightly. 
into my skin, picking up some more. And I'm just, when I pick up the product, I'm just pushing my brush in there and a lot does come off. So I don't feel like I have to like rub my brush into it. So again, my quest is to find something that covers and is quick. Now I do think that this is whoa, really light, so I would have to do some type of bronzer with it because this is super light. So this is really light <laughs> for me, so I should have just gotten the light shade, but I thought no, because this the CC cream is too dark on its own and that's in a light shade, so... Just to kind of first impressions, the shade obviously is too light, but I'm going to add some bronzer and make it work because I already have it on and I'm just going to go about my day, but this is definitely not the right shade. It is very dewy looking, like if I took a highlighter and put it on my face all over. So this is not, not really what I want and I feel like I feel like it has accentuated all of my pores, which, you know, pores are pores. It is what it is, but yeah, I'm going to have to see. I wonder what happens if I would blend some of this over the top because this is just too light. And I think maybe it won't be as bad if it were my skin color, but this is so far not a good first impression. So I'm going to see what happens if I take a pump of this and blend it over the top with this brush. This is the It Cosmetics uh, Blurring Foundation, the airbrush foundation brush. So we'll see if I can blend a cream style product over powder. That is just so dewy. If you like like super radiant dewy foundations, then you will love that. I just, I didn't notice it too much in store that it was just that dewy. I thought it just looked, made my skin look really healthy on my hands. So I thought, yeah, this might be worth a try. So it looks like I'm gonna have to keep the CC cream, but I'm glad that I tried it. So now I know, and it won't be like in the back of my mind, I should have tried it. And cover this up. Whoa, you guys, this is like serious dewiness. It's not even funny anymore. <laughs> yeah. So this powder is a definite no. Not just a no, but a heck no. <laughs> and it's just, it's so, like, there was a lot of coverage with it, I feel like. But if you have any imperfections or I have larger pores just because it is what it is. That's just what my skin is like. It just magnifies that and I didn't, like I said, I didn't really see the shimmer and the sheen when I swatched it on my hand. It just made my skin look really healthy as, as opposed to the same foundation but the matte version that just looks so dry and chalky and I thought that's going to make me feel drier as I'll get out. I'm going to see dryness, you know, in certain areas like around my nose and my chin and I thought, let me just try the illumination one because it might actually look really pretty. But it is very, very dewy, the finish of it. So... If you like that kind of finish, you will like this foundation. All right, guys. So unfortunately for this sort of product review slash first impression type of thing was a complete fail. <laughs> and it's okay. You know, it's just makeup. It's I can return it. I can give it to somebody that can use it. Um, so for me personally, I there was a couple things that I didn't really care for. I felt like it accentuated every little thing. And I think it's just because there is a bit of a sheen to it. The mineral mica is in there and that's the very first ingredient. So again, pay attention to your labels. And when you have that ingredient in products, it's going to give it a luminous finish. And of course, it varies based on how much of that mica pigment is in there. So if it's the first ingredient, it's going to have quite a bit. Although it was deceiving in, in person when you swatch it at the store with the lighting maybe or just something, it can be a little deceiving. And I'm glad that I did this through Ulta and not order it online 
through QVC and then have to take time to go back to the post office to ship it back and wait for my refund. Um, I can just drive up a couple minutes and return it and be done with it. So if you have oily skin, this is definitely not for you. If you have larger pores, if you have, uh, I would say even skin that has dryness, whether it's because of the weather or whether you have normally dry skin as well, this powder will cling to those just like any powder will. But because this is so pigmented as far as like the coverage that it provides, although it's it accentuates everything, there is some good coverage with this product. It will just sit and look really heavy on the skin, which I don't like. Uh, so if I had to choose just which one I would keep between the powder and the CC cream, I'm going to keep with the CC cream, although it doesn't look bad to me. I don't know. You guys let me know. Applying this over the powder, I mean, it blended beautifully right over it, so that's a good thing for this. It's a plus. But I definitely had to tone this shimmer down and this sheen because I do want to put some highlighter on. And with this and highlighter, it's just too much I, for me, just my personal preference. And again, it's all preference-wise, whatever you like. So for me, I would only recommend this to someone who has uh, normal skin, maybe a little dry. If you can take care of those dry areas first, you may like this powder over the top just to lightly dust it. If you do like a very luminous finish where you the dewier the better, you may like this to go on just your bare skin or over a foundation to kind of give it more luminosity, then this is something that you might enjoy. But if you're like me and you like things that are just softer or lighter that you could just quickly dust on, this doesn't cut it. So I hope that you guys found this video kind of fun and entertaining to see uh, the transformation because um, that product was super light. So that's another thing. The color range, it's like it's one is too light, the other one is too dark. You have to kind of mix. So it's just it's not even worth it, honestly. So anyways, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you have this product, if you like it, if you hate it, if you've tried it or haven't, let me know what you think. If you're going to try it or if you have any recommendations that you would like me to try, let me know down in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this in the future. Have a great day and I will see you all very soon. Bye-bye.